What's up everybody? So here we have our Pixel 2 XL. I'm gonna go ahead and walk through the setup process and see what sort of hoops we need to jump through to get this phone set up and going. So I'll go ahead and hit the start button here. And if you have a SIM card, insert it now. If you have Project Fi, you can do SIM free startup. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this for now, but that's pretty cool that you don't even need a SIM if you are on Project Fi, so cool stuff. Go ahead and skip that. Go ahead and add my Wi-Fi network. Okay, so I added my Wi-Fi network and now it is checking for updates and it looks like it's downloading a data transfer tool. So I'll go ahead and speed through this until that gets finished. Okay, so it's downloaded the transfer tool. Now we have the option to copy our data from another device, iPhone, Android, or the cloud or just set up as a fresh phone. I'm gonna go ahead and copy data from another phone. All right, so it's telling us you need your old Android or iPhone device, turn it on and keep it unlocked. Let's go ahead and hit next. Find your old phone's cable and then use the adapter that came in the box, okay? So I'm gonna use my Note 8 here and let me go ahead and get that charging cable and then we'll proceed. All right, I got my Note 8 here and I've got my charging cable for the Note 8, which is a USB type A. USB type C. Let's go ahead and hit next. Insert cable into your old phone. All right, cable's plugged in. See that right there. Next. Connect the adapter and cable that came in the box, which is this guy right here. So we'll plug this to the bottom of the pixel, and then we'll plug the bottom of this into the bottom of that adapter. All right, so we're here we ask a security question. Security confirm your screen lock to continue setup. Okay, let me do that real quick. Okay, once you put in your password, it's asking copy your new phone, your Google accounts, other accounts, and it'll be copy. Awesome, let's go ahead and hit copy. Okay, so I put in my account passwords over here on the le on the new Pixel, and on the note we're being told continue setup on your Pixel XL. So over here it's asking us if we want to transfer apps, call history, device settings, music, photos and videos, SMS messages, and then these are synced automatically because Google pulls those from the cloud. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck photos and videos since I use Google Photos. Uncheck that little bit of music there. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy the rest. And we're given, up here we have 2.3 gigs to transfer and that's gonna take about two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and hit copy. All right, so now it's copying the data over and says you can continue setting up your Pixel XL. Go ahead and hit next. Okay, so it's telling us that if you have Project Fi, you can set up your phone with that, or you can pop in a SIM for another carrier anytime you like. Go ahead and run through the Project Fi setup real quick. Thanks. Okay, so now it's asking us if we want to set up a fingerprint. So go ahead and hit next. So first, before using a fingerprint, we have to set up a pin. So I'm going to set up a pin. Okay, once you put your pin in, it's going to ask you to touch the sensor, which is in a way better spot than the Note 8. Still don't know why Samsung did that. Pretty ridiculous. Okay, so it's added my fingerprint after touching it a few times. I'll go ahead and hit next. So now it's going to take us through setting up the Google Assistant. I'll hit continue. Now it's going to ask you to say OK Google three times so that it learns your voice. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my Note 8 because I already have that set up over here. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Kind of wish it was smart enough to know that that it was smart enough to know that I'm setting up a phone, so don't bring it up over here. But anyway, uh, here, if you want to unlock your phone just by saying OKG, okay, then you can turn that on. I usually don't turn that on, so I'll go ahead and hit done. So now it's asking you if you want to back up stuff to Google Drive, free up space, things of that sort. So I usually turn these off. Once you've made your selections, go ahead and hit agree. And then if you wanna add any more stuff that you might have not copied over from here, I'm gonna go ahead and say no thanks because that's pretty much everything I needed. And now it's saying keep phones connected and turned on three more minutes. So the two minutes was a lie. So I'll go ahead and just speed through this part. Okay, so we've got the message on our Note 8 that it's done with the Note 8 and finished setup on your Pixel 2 XL. So go ahead and hit OK there. And we're done with the Note 8, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the side and disconnect it. And over here it says your phone's almost ready. So it's syncing apps, calendar, call history is done, contacts are done, device settings are done, email is syncing. You can disconnect the cable and hit done. <laughs> Adding finishing touches. This may take a minute or two. Why are you lying to me, Google? Two minutes became three. Now it's another minute or two. Lies. So there we have it. It looks like our Pixel is set up. And right off the bat, I think the screen looks pretty good. I don't know what these uh, reviewers are talking about here. Does it have the blue tint off access? Yeah, a little bit. It's really not that bad. I don't think it's that bad. As far as the burn-in goes that was mentioned, the graininess, have to use it some more to see if that becomes an issue. Other than that, it's ready, it's set up and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start using this as my daily driver off and on with the Note 8. 
and definitely be doing more videos on this, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of those. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. So until next time, take care.